It's a good movie, Cars. Yeah, Biden. <laughs> <laughs> You were saying? Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Uh, we were talking about the election. This kid brings up fucking cars. <laughs> we were talking about Lightning McQueen. I mean, it has equal them. importance, you know, but yeah, ju- I was ju- just going to say Just that. like planes. <laughs> <laughs> From Mr. Broke Productions, in an association with Maximillionaire and Vice City Kingpin, present to you Life on Easy Mode. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of the Life on Easy Mode podcast. My name is Nikki. I am Gian. The Gongoozler. The Gongoozler. <laughs> My name is Miguel. And uh, welcome back to another episode. Today, it's just going to be the three of us. We don't have a guest today. Um, so we're just going to be talking about current topics going on, um, things that are trending right now. So, um, yeah, how y'all boys doing? I am okay <laughs> he's okay because he didn't cop a ps5 like you me. know right. you know Bro, you know i just got mine today you know i'm getting mine black friday and i have multiple outlets that will have them so guess what i will be getting it 10 bucks says his card declines <laughs> no it will not decline i will make sure of it <clears throat> i'll make sure my sugar mommy puts money in there <laughs> <laughs> Actually, um, before we get started... Why did you I, say actually? I'm really scared. No, I want to say before we get started with talking about current topics, I kind of want to tell a quick story about how I deleted the first episode of the podcast. I want to tell the story real quick. I feel like oh, yes. this is an interesting dialogue. Get, get the popcorn. So, um, so, you know, there's a reason why there was a gap between the first episode and the second episode. Wait, no, that has nothing to do with this. There was a, that, reason, that why, there was a reason why the first episode was uploaded later than it should have. That was originally supposed to be on a Tuesday. Well, your boy accidentally deleted it, because so, here's what happened. So, I edit the podcast. You know, I did the editing. I rendered it. I saved it as Podcast One. That was the name of it. The next day, Gian sends me the intro segment audio. He says, here, make an intro segment with this. Okay. So, I load up Sony Vegas again. I put the intro segment in front of the thing. You know, I make an intro segment and I render it. And when I clicked render as, here's how it works in Sony Vegas. When you click render as and you... Just keep talking. Just okay, keep okay, talking. okay, okay, okay. Um, in Sony Vegas, when you render something as the same thing of some, another file, it'll ask you, you already have another file. Name this. Would you like to replace it? Me being the genius I was, I clicked yes. So... When I saw the thing rendering in Sony Vegas, I saw that something wasn't right. I said, hmm, that's not right. So I logged, I closed out of Sony Vegas. And um, because, you know, with Sony Vegas, sometimes when something's going wrong, you just have to restart it and open it up again. So I do that. And when I opened it back up, it said, some audio, uh, some files were missing from this uh, document. Would you like to try to recover them? And I looked at that. I said, no. I did not. And I went through the files of my computer, went through every fucking thing, scavenged through every corner of my computer. I could not find it. I downloaded every data recovery software, free data recovery software. Free. Couldn't do shit. Bro, I never listened to Numb by Linkin Park so much more in my fucking life, bro. Dude, I was about to re-enter my emo phase when I saw that. It was so bad. But eventually, long story short, when I called Microsoft, Microsoft they were like, yeah, there's nothing you can do. So I just had to edit it again, and I uploaded Wait, it. Wait, did you really call Microsoft? I just wanted to see if there was a way for me to go into my computer and for them to, you know how they, they can, like, screen share if there's something wrong with your computer? Okay, but I, I Nikki, usually, like, when things are deleted, they're deleted. Did Microsoft you really did, cannot. Did you check the recycle bin? Yes, I did. That was the okay. first thing I did. But my way of deleting it wasn't just click, delete, empty, recycle bin. My shit was I replaced it. That's a different, bro. I oh. broke that thing's hard. I replaced oh, it with oh, something oh. else, bro. No, then you can't do anything about that. I have yeah, no so. idea why. Nikki really played Marvin's Room over an edit. Bro. <laughs> shit was crazy. Can I go on a rant? No. So Maybe. this is about COVID, okay. kind of. But So I work at a grocery store. Yes. Not far from here. And I've been working there about since the end of March, early April. So basically for Rhode Island, basically when COVID kind of struck us. And so I've been seeing, you know, weird occasions here and there. I've told you stories. I've told him stories probably in any story. So there's one thing that I hate the most, and it's when people have the mask on. I have a couple of stories I want to share, but 
one of them. This happens a few times. It hasn't happened recently, but <clears throat> this is a story that I would like to say. When people have cash and they have the mask on, you know how people, you know, when paper's stuck together, they'll do this? Oh. Uh. Yeah. So if no one knows what I just did, when people lick their fingers to get the pieces of paper unstuck, and I go, are you? Too. And like literally they'll take off the mask, lick the fingers, get the cash, and I go, hmm. Now, thankfully, I hand sanitize after every single fucking customer, but... That pissed me off. Also, there was I'm there was um, a gentleman. That's yeah. Okay, you're putting my glasses. Okay, oh, okay. So, anyways, there was this gentleman who did not want me touching his stuff. Did not want me bagging. And I go, okay, that's fine. And he goes, you touch a lot of cash. And I go, no, t- trust me, that is totally understandable. He goes, I don't want you touching anything because you know I, cash. And he goes, no, nothing against you. And I go, no, 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 of course not because I, I respect I, that. because I touch he because I touch cash. Mm. So he puts his card in. And at the cash register, when people want cash back, it'll come up at the end. I see a cash back option, and I go, huh? And the cash back is 40 bucks, and I go, so this dude does not want me bagging for him because I touch money, but then proceeds to have cash back in me giving him 40 bucks. Now, how the fuck does that work? I, was he Russian? No, he, he, was, he was African-American. Okay. He was a chill dude. He, he had, you know, he was a, he was a dad, you know, he was like, I don't want you, know, he was a good dude, but does not want me touching his stuff, or he wants to bag on his own because I touch uh, cash. Maybe, maybe he d- uh, um, sanitizes money, you know, like, uh, gets Purell, then like, that would s- make puts some money in the dishwasher. No yeah. <laughs> and then there's a quick story today. So at I work at Stop and Shop, and, you know, Stop and Shop is a very big, you know, New England kind of. Yeah, and, and, pre- and pretty much kind of halfway down to the south, it stops like Virginia. It's mostly it like an East giant. Coast thing. It's not so much. Well, like then it gets to the giant down north here is the south. I think the south has like food line because yeah, in North like, Carolina I they have food Virgin- line. Virginia is the cutoff line. Anything between New Jersey and Virginia is like the giant. It's technically owned by the same company. The giant, yeah. But it's it's basic. It's basically the same icon as Stop and Shop, but just called the giant. Right. So. Anyways, we are upgrading the store. If anyone's been into the store recently, it's upgraded. Yeah, I like, saw that. I was like, yo. They got another is... jewel pod patrolling the streets? Oh, no, that's no. been there since the fucking age of dawn. But no, like, 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 where's the bakery, dude? The bakery's on. Yeah, the bakery's right when you walk in. But anyways, we got new lights. So like when the, the cash register, you know, one, two, three, blah, blah, blah. At the, we got new, brand new lights. Bright as fuck. Literally, I without my glasses, I could be on the... Aisle 22, and I could see the fucking cash register 16 light on. And I hate when this fucking happens. When people come up to me, look around. Yes, 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 yes. And I go, and, they, and no, and they go, are you open? Me, standing there, waiting for someone to come in with the fucking bright ass light. Now, this person today was pretty fucking funny. Not really, but funny to me because I started laughing, but she was serious. She was walking with her cash register. I mean, cash register, where her carriage to my register. And she's waiting in line. She's looking around. I'm, I'm number 16. And then there's a 14 and there's 12 open. So yep. she's right near 16. And she's looking confused. And I go, can I help you? She goes, I didn't know you were open. I didn't see anyone in the line. So I She's go, one of those people that thinks it's too good to be true. I'm the first so one I in go, line. So because there's nobody in my line, I'm not open? Oh, I didn't say that to her. But like, and I'm like, oh, fuck. Like literally the people at fucking Stop and Shop fucking infuriate me. Well. You know, you are in one That's of the like greatest you know. states of America, Rhode <laughs> Island, where the people of great intelligence come. We got... Thank you for visiting Rhode Island. <laughs> Thank you uh, for this podcast. But no, like, um, in, with COVID and everything, we, I think we've been pretty good. But um, mm. end of my rant, there is a side rant that we can go into. Um, well, th- this will probably lead into a little bit of what we'll talk about. But um, okay, we... Spikes have been going up with COVID mm-hmm. cases. Yeah, um, like nationwide. I want you to... So Gina Raimondo, our governor, the Wicked Witch of the West, a, uh, um, so the gun goozler. <laughs> the gun goozler. But, um, with their vice president, uh, vice uh, governor, he who... He who... He does not understand this reference. It's okay. We'll explain them anyways, later. Anyways, anyways, so she put out... She said about, I want to say two weeks ago... The curfew? No. no. Two weeks ago, she said that she was going to go into phase two. And I go, okay. A week later, she says she's going to do curfews. And I go, huh. She said that she was going to talk about going to phase two before Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is about two weeks of fucking way. So here's the thing. I believe that she is not going to go into phase two. She's literally saying, this is basically, because here's the thing. 
She doesn't want to go into phase two because we already have a curfew. She's gonna enrage a lot of people. But yeah. But he, no, well, listen, no, no, it's no, her second term. She doesn't give a shit. But yeah. she, no, she's. I I believe that she's not gonna go into phase two because especially when Black Friday is coming up and the economy is getting kind of in the shitter hole right now, she does not want to risk it. But and she knows if she goes into phase two, she'll fucking anger so many fucking people. Right. Because phase two is basically. But, but Black Friday is gonna be like like crazy. it's gonna be bad. Do well, not no, go no, to any of your local WalMarts. I don't think it's gonna be crazy. No, I think it will. No. It, it depends where you go. I remember mm-hmm. last year when we went to the mall. That like, wasn't even that busy. No, well, it wasn't. Not, that big. Not, Wait, what, what, what time did we go though? We went at four or five o'clock in the morning. And yeah, and like twelve o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, and it was like it wasn't busy it at got all. Busier till the end of the day, but we already did our shopping. Right. I'm, but, not, I'm not talking about busyness. No, I'm talking about like 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 uh, COVID cases. It's gonna. Oh, uh, no, I know okay. what you mean, but like busyness has something to do mm-hmm. with COVID cases. Exactly. If there's more people in the mall, there's more crowded. But anyways, what I'm saying is just it's a really bad idea to go Black Friday, especially this year. No, I get it. But anyways, like, you can do online shopping on Cyber oh, Monday. Oh no, yeah. I mean, I mean, I like I I do like going to the stores, waking up early. I like right. that kind of like you know hygienic like but you know thing. But like we may have to skip that this year. I am well, not. well, well. Depending on, I still want to kind of. It's do it, two but weeks away, I'm, bro. I don't think there's gonna be that much of a difference. It. Well, I mean, we'll we'll see. I still want to do it. But. We'll see. Depending on like, I don't know, because I feel like two weeks isn't that much of time for there to be that great of a difference. Why can't we just do online shopping? I don't think, but he's saying, see, she's we can be talk Karen about Holmes. Thanksgiving probably at the end of this week. Because yeah. I don't think she's gonna. She's gonna talk about Thanksgiving. I don't think she's gonna. I mean, she'll probably say like Black Friday. This is what she's gonna say. She, We're not gonna go into phase two. This is what she's gonna say. The curfew will be this and blah blah blah. Stores during Black Friday will not be able to have this many people in the fucking store. Mm-hmm. People waiting in line. You have to stores in malls and whatnot would have to put tapes down where people have to stand. Basically, when Phase Two fucking started for fucking retail stores. But anyways, she's doing all this because you know she thinks COVID comes out at night, and I honestly kind of understand. That because people hang out at night, people. It's she's more she, of a she gathering. She did that for the clubs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. She did that for like the clubs and stuff. So but like, recently, oh no, what were you gonna say? No, I was just gonna, I was just agreeing with Miguel. Oh. Yeah. But recently, and there's a lot of people I see on Snapchat, I see on Instagram, I've seen this since the COVID cases started rising, and everyone can agree with me because there have been so many fucking people doing. As I see Instagram posts, I see Snapchat, I even see Facebook posts. People are traveling. Mm-hmm. Going to fucking California, Florida, Disney World, Disney, whatnot. And I'm like, Universal. And I'm like, okay, so, Gina, I want you to think about this for a minute. You want to do curfew time for 10 p.m. to 5 a.m., but you're not worried at all about people coming in from Florida, from California, people going from Rhode Island, going to Florida, coming back. You're not worried about that at all. You're not even doing the quarantine day. Well, technically, she, I think we are still doing that if you fly from a different state. You have to quarantine for fourteen days, but well, no, it's, it's twenty four days now. Twenty four? Holy 24? shit! Yeah, she she raised it to twenty four. Yeah, because she th- again, any, she, again she thinks COVID lasts for that any longer. any specific reason or just because she just feels I don't remember. There was a reason I just don't remember. But I know for a fact no one's gonna fucking do that. No, no. they're gonna they're, they're gonna stick to the fourteen days if mm-hmm. that. No, 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 no. Not, they're not gonna even yeah. do that. They're not Literally. gonna even do it. Do that, and that pisses me off because I'm like, okay, you are not helping the cause. Now, obviously, if you can say, oh. We're being hypocritical, or I'm being hypocritical. It's, me and Miguel, Nikki, I know for a goddamn... And me and Nikki got tested recently, too, because we had a little COVID scare, but obviously we're negative. Yeah. But, like, me, Miguel, and Nikki... That's the reason why the second episode came later than the first one. Yes. But me, Miguel, and Nikki, we... I don't... The only time I leave, leave my house is literally for work. Same. That is fucking it. Same. I leave home for school. That's it. And if we do go out, we make sure that we're we're safe. We're do, we're it, doing that, but we barely go. We only probably go out maybe like once a week. It's maybe. such a weird situation too, because like, it's like we're pissed off at both sides. We're pissed off for Gina Raimondo for doing these like stupid uh, restrictions, but then like we get pissed off at people when they don't follow mm-hmm. them. So, so it's like, it's like people are like who do we get mad at? So we're just mad at everyone. But it's like we don't know. Like I mean, we know what to do. Obviously, you know, yeah. s- social I mean, distancing I mean, and everything. But like, it's like. We don't know the, the who good, to look up to for. The good news, it's going to be okay. The good news is that there is a vaccine now. Oh, well, yeah. That, that is what we want to well, talk about. Yeah. It, it's 90% effective. 90%. The, uh, at the we're going to get month, into that. At the end of the month, the Hopefully. FDA has to approve it. Mm-hmm. And then I have the buy article that. right here. So, but here's the thing. You know what's funny? I have not seen a C, uh, CNN and Fox article about it well, in the past month. CNN I had to Fox look it up on Google because they. I don't think... The COVID vaccine? No, literally, I have not seen it on Facebook news. Like literally, Facebook. It's, literally, just, I would it's on see, Twitter. Everywhere. You get more reliable mo- news than like a killed dead road 
fucking yeah, but Fox. I just and... want you to notice how the bigger news networks from both sides of political views have not posted about literally. it. Literally, sure, I thought they did. Nope. They I learned about not. it on Twitter. I have. I and literally learned about it from from someone at Stop and Shop saying, "Oh, they're coming out." That's kind of sad. Twitter's a more reliable source. No, Twitter, than Twitter, <laughs> Twitter. Twitter is my news source. No, as, as that's my that's my source for uh, news and memes. Dude, some no, of the memes like, on Twitter, bro. Really, like, if you crazy. think about it, Twitter has like every news source, mm-hmm. and then you just like you just like oh, let me let me fact check this real quick. You just open another news source because like, and like a lot of oh no, sorry, go ahead. No, I, that's I, oh, because like a lot of um. A lot of people who work for like CNN, ABC, mm. they have their own individual mm-hmm. Twitters. They will individually cover like, stories themselves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and I, you can see who whether they're just a correspondent. I do, or a reporter. I do find like extremely like I I find more right wing news source more than anything else though. Mm. I think that's the only problem I find because I don't find uh, the only the only like like neutral thing I see is maybe ABC and not ABC really? NBC. You see more right wing on Twitter, huh? You see, I, I see more right wing news on Twitter. Dude, Twitter is like a very liberal. No, platform, but like, dude. like whenever I see, very liberal. I, whenever I see news, like ab- about, it's probably because like, what you're searching. No, but it's just it's uh it's on my um, uh trending or whatever. It's just. Oh well, that's I, trending I, though. I mean, that's not. That's really... weird. Trending is usually like because like oh I, they're the they're the more like the more ridiculous stories, you know. Mm-hmm. Oh, are you talking about like yes, say the MAGA march or something was trending. I I think that's trending today. It was trending today, but it was also trending yesterday. Yes. Well, like. Even though that may be a conservative or right wing hashtag trending, a lot of like liberals, liberals. were tweeting about it. Yeah, as well. they were making fun of it. Yeah, they were making uh, fun of it. I still find, I st- like if I see a news source, like uh, I'm gonna say like six out of ten times it's like right wing. Huh. Interesting, because not for me. It's like two out of like twenty. I, I'm barely on Twitter anymore. I've been kind of getting into it more recently, but like I'm, I haven't been on Twitter for so fucking long, and I don't. I literally am on it for like gaming news sources, like nothing yeah, like fucking as well. liberal. I just follow the bullshit. boys on Instagram, like you know, Augie RC, Bo Black. Shout out to Bo Black and Augie RC. Facebook and Twitter for fucking memes and then Instagram to post I'm on, stuff. I'm, I use every social media honestly for fucking memes. I even I'm use on, MySpace. I'm on Twitter just you for. Do, do you really? Oh fucking! I'm on, I mean, fucking say. I'm on Twitter just for news and election news. News and nudes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. News and oh nudes. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Um, Hashtag send me. I don't. I'm not even on Twitter for memes. I I tweet like some dumb shit from here and there, but dude, half mm-hmm. the time you just tweet. I want to get out of this fucking country. Yeah. Fuck Basically, this country. Yeah, wait, I want to leave America. That's like half your tweets, bro. bro. Two days ago. Ready? Ready? This is gonna be a long two months. <laughs> It is. Oh boy. Oh but that dumbass boy. won't concede. He lost, bro. No, it doesn't matter. He still has to be in office for two months. No, I know, but like, I, I admit, I just want him to admit it. He's oh. gonna have to admit it when fucking Biden puts his hand on the fucking book and says, "Hi, you." Blah 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 blah. It, it, his 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 like staff does not make it better. Mm-hmm. They're yes. like, oh, his, the president's gonna be at his own inauguration. I'm like, shut the fuck well, up. Well, he kind of ha- wait. Wait, had his own inauguration? No, that um that lady, her uh, the blonde bitch, she was like, oh yeah, President Trump's gonna be at his own. Inaugur- Tory Lauren, I think her name is. No, no, that's she doesn't work for Trump. Oh no, she's a. Yeah, it, yeah. I think her name like Kaylee something, but she was like, oh, Mister uh, President Trump's gonna be his in uh, his own inauguration on January. I'm like. What? He, makes... Exactly. Did, did Biden officially win Georgia? Yeah. Like officially, yeah, he, officially, he, officially he, all he, the it was it, it was called for him. They're just recounting though. But yeah, but it's it's gonna go to Nevada him right isn't fully counted yet though. No, Nevada's been uh, projected for Biden as well. We're just waiting on this uh, uh, certification, which is like at the end of the month, mm-hmm. but like a week from now, actually. It's safe to say though that Biden. Yeah, won. Biden's Biden gonna be the new president. There's yeah. no way Trump can overturn five states. No. Yeah. And Unless by like. He a literally fucking... has to overturn all five states. But then he's gonna like say not... like some stuff about like oh let's there's definitely fraud in this or some shit like which that. i will like his own agencies are saying there's no fraud mm-hmm. like like I, saw, I this was on twitter because like twitter now has a, which is really cool twitter now has the the handle where like if someone posts something there's a fact in blue ink mm-hmm. underneath it saying oh check to see if this is real or not and you click on it and trump was tweeting about i literally follow him just to fucking laugh um but like literally i best looked, meme page um again Honestly. i am not political I, I am choosing whatever I, I I'm not saying what side is better I'm I just both sides are fucking ridiculous and you voted for Markiplier um mm-hmm. I've I Mickey Mouse so literally I both sides are fucking ridiculous so literally on his fucking Twitter thing he posted about like oh we will see if this is fraud or not and then you click on it it literally brought you to a Twitter thing saying election fraud is actually 
very rare, like 0.008% or something. Shit, I don't it was know three, the... zero point. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Well, so, but like literally it is fucking like rare, rare, like literally like one out of like a million something. I don't fucking know, but like it's, right. it's fucking rare. So I don't, I, I honestly, I already know how it's going to happen when everything is fully, fully called in the next couple of weeks. Then he's going to be like, oh, I'm time to recount everything. Bullshit. You can't recount after they're, they're certifying the results. Oh, they can't recount oh, I'm after fucking next week. See, see, I, I don't keep up mm. with the date to that, but you know, I, I saw a fact. Um, I think this was before they even had the final results for the presidency was, Pennsylvania didn't vote Democrat, I think, since, like, 1918. Uh, and over, like, 100 years, I think. That's not Pennsylvania. Pe- was it? No? There was, no, a, there was Pen- a state. Pen- I- Pennsylvania has voted blue before. Really? Let me. Yeah. it's You're probably either, from 1918. I don't... Hold on. L- let me look, because I can go on 270. It, it would either be Georgia or Arizona. That's a good year, 1918. It was a good year. You know, yeah. World War One just ended. Yeah. That movie, Treaty 19, of Versailles. That movie, 1917, came out the year before. Yeah, good, good, good year. <laughs> Good fucking year. So I already know that some shit's gonna go down. I am very surprised. He he almost admitted oh, it too that Biden won a few days ago, but he corrected himself. Later. I'm dead wrong. Yeah, it wasn't Pennsylvania. Yeah. They vote blue like I'm all surprised the time. that like not I mean there were peaceful protests, I think, in cities when Biden won. Oh no, there were peaceful there were celebrations, bro. There were it's like the end of Return of the Jedi. The whole world was celebrating. It's like the Return of the Jedi ending, like No, I didn't really hear anything much about maybe the UK, but like Australia, New Zealand, were they really? UK, Ireland, Scotland, Germany, fucking Hollywood was celebrating. The whole world was celebrating. I like how you just named off like eighteen countries, bro. I'm falling in love with you. That was so intelligent. Come here, baby. I heard I heard the two people in Antarctica were actually celebrating. Oh shit! The penguins were like, grr, grr, grr. And then you hear. Morgan Freeman in the background. All right. Go Yo, I think the funniest thing is Morgan Freeman's criticizing Trump too. He's is like, he really? yeah, he, he's like on Twitter, like, bro, like, Yo, bro, Hollywood, just get the fuck he out. He said, of listen, Hollywood don't. Is very democratic. I realize that. Very, like, I don't understand how. Well, listen, California is probably when, the when, most liberal. Not no, probably Massachusetts. It's no like, DC, ooh, DC. No, oh yeah, DC. DC but like DC. California is like up there. Let me tell you guys something. I think I already explained this to you before. So when DC DC was added to the electoral map in 1964. Oh, you're gonna give it, us a history lesson? A little quick history lesson, you know. Well, thank you, know. you Mr. Uh, Johnson. I, 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 I've I've gotten my facts right. from 270 to win okay, in Wikipedia. Open your books to page and 250 Twitter. and Twitter. So, DC was added to the electoral map in 1964. It has not once voted Republican. It has voted Democrat every single time, and by like a landslide. It's like at least like 70 something percent every time. This time it was like 90 something percent for Biden. I think like out of the like 260,000 people who voted, only 15,000 voted for Trump. Only 200? Oh, but that's right. Washington, D.C. is like a... Like, I think yeah. it's like 600,000 people who live there, but not everyone voted. But still. And like when Biden won, there was people celebrating in front of the White House. They had like signs. It was... Saying, they can had like I, can I just saying, say... Like, can Trump I just say... Everything. Boy. Like I, I personally don't think you should be out there like celebrating. You know, there's a whole ass pandemic still. Yeah, that's... But, the- but it was still bigger than his inauguration crowd. That's yeah. No, that, that has to. Tell nah, something. nobody will top Lightning McQueen's Piston Cup oh, audience. Yeah. Yo, nobody go. will ever top that. Shout out Lightning McQueen, bro. Run for president in 2024. Speed. Wow. How are you gonna fix this country? Gotta make it speed. <laughs> I am sped. <laughs> um. It's a good movie, Cars. Yeah, Biden. <laughs> <laughs> You were saying? Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Uh, we were talking about the election. This kid brings up fucking cars. <laughs> we were talking about Lightning McQueen. I, I mean, it has equal the... importance, you know, but yeah, j- I was j- just going to say just that. Just like planes. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, planes, I trains, forgot and about that movie, dude. Bro, no, uh, one, no one remembers that movie. Dude, they need to make a movie about trains now. <laughs> trains, planes. Um, movie, I was just going to say Biden won the most votes ever now. Mm-hmm. I mean... That was going to happen eventually because as time goes on, more and more people are getting involved with voting. The U.S. population is growing exponentially. It's at like 330 million right now, I think. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's he won 75 million, million, and Trump won, I think, about 71 70, million. 72. It's at 72. So it's almost 73. Didn't he claim that he won popular vote? No, I heard that he. He did. said he he won the most pres uh, most votes for a sitting president, which is true. And is that true? Yeah, that is true. Yeah, oh, technically. Shit. But he did. But at one point he tweeted, he was like, "I won this election by like a long shot, mm-hmm. by like and, a lot." And then uh, an hour later, oh, Biden has won the election. Yeah, I'm so, not even kidding. Look, I'm not trying to downplay whoever you vote for, but just come on, man. Like, I voted for him, but he's acting like an idiot. I'll be the first to say it. It's it it, it is embarrassing. 
So I I'll, I'll I'll admit he's too immature. Yeah. It's, I mean, he's not a politician. He doesn't speak like a politician. He's never he's been in man. office. He's yeah, a businessman. I will man. say he's a good businessman. I will say that. Mm. But, you know, taxes, man. And 750. <laughs> taxes. So, Miguel, politics aside, would you ever visit a Trump Tower? No. No? Oh, I would no. visit, but there would like, be um, some if, confetti. If he didn't run for president, maybe, because, like, oh, you know, rich person, whatever. Did you have a problem with him before he ran for I president? I didn't have a problem with him before he ran for office. That, see, that is so... Because I, I personally didn't know how Trump was before he ran for office. No, I knew him. I saw the movie. It was Home Alone. back in night. Home Alone Two. He was in the. He was helping little McAllister go to the second floor, or whatever. He was like, yeah. Was like that. And then right then and there, he said, "You know what? This country needs me. I'm going to run." <laughs> no, he didn't. Bro. And right then, then and there, he said he saw that little boy, and he said, and then, this I, I country have, needs I, I would have rather then, someone else have you know ran for funny? Republican. Right after that, he went on Epstein's plane. <laughs> okay, that was a joke. But anyways, um I just I didn't know how like like racist he was until he ran for president. Mm, that's debatable. We're yeah. not going to get into that. I don't feel like fucking debating. Well, here's the thing. Trump says them things, Biden's touch kids. Listen, we all have weird fucking things, okay? Listen. I am not going to die with Biden's and I'm not going to die with Trump does, but Miguel, just both. remember it's a lose-lose situation. They're, just they're lose. both shit. But I mean, I he's like but Biden's like He's like, and he kisses it. Fucking ki- that, that's weird. Kisses his daughters. Like, and like he'll like smell their hair and everything. Like I've seen like videos where like he was like grabbing like a girl and he was like, but then again, like, kiss fo- them but then again, like, like photos can be a fucking mis- yeah. No, it was a video. It was a video. Oh, it was a video. It was a video. Oh, never mind. There's multiple videos of Biden like going like this, like smelling their. Hair. I'm not gonna do it. Again. He's smelling their hair, kissing them. You know. <laughs> See that right there made you feel uncomfortable. Oh yeah. Imagine if you were a little girl and some white hair old man was like, come here, baby, and you know he's like, <laughs> oh strawberries. Just imagine, bro. That you know, horrible. We just got to stop voting in old white men into office, honestly. Why do you yes. White? Just whoever's qualified. Dwayne. No. Dwayne. Oh, old men. Then. Dwayne. Old men. The Rock. Old people. Johnson. Old people. I would vote for Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Actually, you know what? I, I feel like he. If he, I like him. He not probably force he's everyone to go to the gym like every other week. That's I'm okay with that. You know what? Maybe we maybe we need that little kick in the ass. Jacked. He's like, yes, yeah, steroids for everyone. He would definitely run as an independent too. Van McDonald's. He would. Okay. I'd have a little problem with that. We need to gain weight before we can work out. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, uh, I was going to say what something. What would you like to see? Like, seriously, like, who would, like, if you could see anybody run for president, it could be a celebrity, YouTuber, blah, anybody, who <sighs> would you like to see run? Personally, I wouldn't want another celebrity running for office. I'd rather have a politician running for office. All right, so does it just have to be a celebrity? Anybody. It can't be a po- anybody. anybody. Oh, um, unless you know fo- every politician's fucking name. I mean, I mean, here's the thing: I don't trust politicians. Like, period. In general, you know, I would trust Mr. Beast. I here's know, the thing: I know you say you know, I, well, I wouldn't, but like, it's not that I don't trust him. It's just like I don't think he he. You you say he's not corrupt enough to be a politician. Yeah. Oh, listen, you gotta be. You gotta have some kind of like narcissism to run for politician. I just think he, uh, unless you're genuinely running as a politician to genuinely help the people, which yeah. doesn't happen often. Because but here's the I thing. I feel like Mr. Beast would genuinely run to help people. Because like, that's what he already yeah, he does. Give everyone a fucking, no, that's David Dobrik. I was going to say everyone, he gives everyone a Tesla, but that's David Dobrik. I don't think so. I, I remember that there's been a question floating around. People have always asking, who will be the first YouTuber to run for president? I know a lot of people think Mr. Beast. Markiplier. I think, just personally, and I'm not saying I support this. <laughs> I think it's going to be Logan Paul. Or Jake Just Paul. let me explain. Listen, listen. He's not the Paul player. brothers are very controversial. I'd say Logan, he's gotten better. I definitely think, like, yeah. compared to two years ago, he's a lot more likable than mm-hmm. he was. Mm-hmm. And one us. thing about Logan I've noticed is, you know, like his brother Jake, they're always trying to do the next biggest thing. Like, mm-hmm. something to up themselves. You know, they've always been very competitive with themselves and with their other brother. But I do think that one day... When he's old enough, I think he's gonna try to run. I just, I'm saying this now, Logan. If oh, sometime in the future you see, that's gonna be scary though, because all his subscribers are gonna be able to vote too. But they're gonna be older though, so hopefully no. they're more mature. Well, you know what I but, like? That I don't like. But his I don't subscribe fans. any of, to them. I don't fucking care about them. But the one thing I like better about Logan than Jake is that Logan owns up to whatever the fuck mm-hmm. he did. Jake's just a little fucking bitch. Like, Yo, Jake's he, a like, fucking piece of like, shit, know, bro. Like a couple weeks ago, fucking or a couple months ago, he got arrested because he was. I remember he was during riots in like May and June. He got Jake he was Paul. In, yeah. yeah, Jake was, and then I think recently he, he was, robbed. A he store. was accused of looting. I don't know if it's true or not. No, but. he so he didn't really do anything. Um, he was documenting it. Documenting, but, uh, quote unquote. But he still took a part of it because mm-hmm. in the video you see like a guy I think break into a liquor store. 
take a bottle and hand it to Jake Ball, and Jake Ball takes it as if it's okay. So he had some involvement with the riding. Should he have gotten arrested? Mm, that's debatable, but I definitely I just, think that like he should have been criticized heavily like he if did. He, if he just went there to document like looting, he shouldn't have been there at all. Honestly, he, mm -hmm. he shouldn't have been there from the start. Mm -mm. But finishing up my statement, because like, again, I'm not saying I support this, but I think Logan Paul definitely has the audacity audacity i definitely oh think he has God. like i definitely think he would have the drive to run for president i do and i don't think mr beast because i feel He's like too nice he, that and i feel like but, that just went wait hold on, let me finish that i just don't feel like running for president would be his thing i see him more of doing something like working with elon musk to colonize mars i genuinely see him doing something like that rather than running for president because i don't think he wants to be a person who has power over the people. I think he just wants to be like an outsider who helps people, makes people's lives better. I guess that's true. So I just see him doing, I, just, I see I, him working I, with like bigger like scientists maybe, maybe like. I feel like though he's the only right person I wouldn't mind running for president. Yeah. 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 I could, I, I can understand that. But like. What I, do you think he would run as? Oh. Like party wise. I, I feel like independent. Me too. I think independent. I don't, I don't know his views. I, 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 don't, I just I don't, know he likes to help people. At this point, any so. person who is like celebrity or Hollywood Probably like a good seventy five percent are democratic. Probably try like eighty five percent, bro. Majority, like I just, vast I just don't think that's why I'm, I'm not wrong, like period. in tonight show. I'm Blank not like in period. the late night shows anymore. I, I love Jimmy Fallon. I love Jimmy Kimmel, but all they fucking talk about is politics. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> they're, oh. they're gonna run out of freaking content and, and you know like uh, script. They're gonna run out like so much content when Trump's out of office, like, unless they just decide to still pick. I on him. I think it was Tim Allen. Who's played Buzz Lightyear? Oh yeah, play, he, he support. He said he yeah. supported Trump, and I go, that's fine. That whatever. Pe yeah. People, Hollywood co-star, not co-star, but like people from Hollywood were like slamming him. People from like Twitter I remember were slamming. That. I mm -hmm. go, come on. Like, had, same thing with Chris Pratt. He had a he had a good show. What was it called? I don't remember. Oh, 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 Home, Improvement. oh Home Improvement. Yeah, I like that show. I love and that they show. canceled that because of, I'm like, why? Like, no, no, that was that was Last Man Standing. They canceled that. that, that oh, yeah, Holman, yeah, that yeah, yeah. was in the 90s. This was Last Man Standing. They canceled that because he supported Trump. Yeah, yeah I was, I was like, like, what? what's the I point of canceling? It was a good show. It doesn't matter. Did Literally. Chris Pratt say that he supported Trump? Because I, I know he wasn't doing the Avengers party, and then people got mad at him because of that. They assume he supports Trump. He's yeah, like, I don't he, think it was ever confirmed. He, yeah, he, he hasn't That's said so it. That's so fucking stupid. And this he's is still, so uh, fucking... He's still acting. This they is haven't so canceled. off topic. But I fucking hate Hollywood and woman now. Because I think we all know what the fuck I'm going to talk about right now. And this is just off the curb because we're talking about Hollywood and how the fuck it's stupid. But fuck Amber Heard. I'm sorry. I'd fuck her, but fuck her. Good luck getting a girlfriend. <laughs> no, Amber Heard, no, though. No, no, That's no. a different even, thing. No, yeah. Even females. Even females will agree with me. Amber Heard's a fucking bitch. No, I'm she's sorry. A, she's a, I'm sorry, but yeah, if you support Amber, Amber Heard. Justice for Johnny. If you support Amber Heard, you literally are... If, I, if, I hate if, saying you're wrong, but you're wrong. If you don't know what Amber Heard did, basically she abused Johnny Depp and then blamed it on him mm -hmm. and then literally mm -hmm. took him to court, like acting as the victim. I heard of one story too that she uh, took her secretary's like, um, or not secretary, assistant's um, like rape story or like, like sexual harassment story, somebody, story, story and used it as her own. And then recently like, Johnny Depp went got to... Got fired. He, he got fired because he lost... A lawsuit because a UK article or website or newspaper or whatever called him some called him a not a wife beater but something around the area and Johnny Depp took that to trial to say mm -hmm. that's not true he lost it because the the judge said oh it's there like this is not exactly what it said but this is basically what the fucking article said he goes well it says you're a wife beater don't see anything that can back that up and say that you're not and I go are you fucking serious and he got fired from people are literally petitioning. There's over a million signatures for Amber Heard to get fired from Aquaman 2. I completely 100% agree with Just that. Just straight up boycott that Aquaman. That does not make any I, sense I, that she works on Aquaman 2, but Johnny gets fired for a role that he's not even in for a total of 10 minutes in. Ridiculous. It makes so fucking little sense. Ridiculous. What are you going I, I think Amber Heard's just a shitty person. Yeah. I personally didn't, I didn't fuck with um, her anyways in Aquaman. That's, I, I, mean, I forget. What part did she play in Aquaman? She, well, she, she was the hot, redhead. Hot redhead. Oh, she, listen, she's hot, but that damn, I thought she was hot too. Damn, no, no, you know, she, you know, no, she is, but scummy personality. Oh, scummy. Yeah. But um, Did, well, isn't there actual evidence of her mm -hmm. being abusive mm -hmm. to Johnny? That's, that's mm -hmm. why, it's like video evidence. Or? No, not uh, it's documented. Okay, I know. That, I know there's not video evidence. I think there was a picture. I don't know if it was true or not. I'm trying to think from my. Oh, uh, with Johnny with a black eye. 
I think oh, I yeah. saw Maybe. that. That was but what all, a year ago. But I do know that it was all documented because mm-hmm. people from neighbors, maybe, and then Johnny also do like saying stuff and like that. Like he was saying, like, oh, like, oh, she did this to me and stuff like that. And so, like, honestly, I don't think we'll ever know the full true story because there's always like two, three, whatever, two or three sides to a story. Mm-hmm. I guess there's two sides to a story. But we do know Amber Heard lied about a lot. Yes, yes. that is 100% true. She did lie a lot. So maybe, you know, John. John Johnny Depp maybe did something. Who knows? But, but fucking um, Amber Heard lied a fucking lot, and it's 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 depressing. It really is. Well, even if like she keeps her job, her reputation as a person's mm-hmm. ruined. So but, at least she doesn't have that going but for you her. You know what's funny? All her Instagram comments are turned off. <laughs> so notice can't how, handle criticism. So notice how a person. Oh yeah. Oh, it was all Johnny. Turns off all comments. Doesn't even want to defend herself. Do you know what that means? That means she's guilty of something. When they try to hide. That means they're guilty of something. I mean, I, I get it, like, defending yourself and being like, oh, I didn't do this. I guess people can say, like, oh, she's just, she, she, someone's just saying that, blah, blah, blah. But, like, if you don't even say anything, then you're like. When you don't say anything and then you turn off the comments just to avoid all kind of criticism, yeah. you're hiding something because you know deep down you're guilty oh, of something. Yeah. 100%. So, it, and it's it's really sad. And um, I, I hope that Warner Brothers is going to be smart about their fucking next move because both, because they fucking, oh no, wait, Warner Brothers, does Warner Brothers own, yeah, Warner Brothers owns DC. So, I'm pretty sure that Do they, better, Warner Bros. So, they kind this of have a, a say with Aquaman. So, I'm pretty sure that now they're saying like, because it, I don't think Aquaman 2 is going to get any fucking money. This. If it, when it's released in theater, if and when, no, when Amber Heard's on the fucking trailer and poster, no one's gonna fucking see that movie. I know that movie made half a billion dollars. It's gonna make less than two hundred million, maybe even less. It's gonna make fucking bet it. It's gonna be under a hundred million. Watch, bro. It, then just Warner, for literally Warner Brothers will take a fucking loss. Literally hit. one person ruined an entire production mm-hmm. of Actually, a movie. Actually, I'll check how much Aquaman. Just just for shits and giggles, how right. much Aquaman made. I still think DC is. Uh... Cinematic universe sucks ass. Well, I, I feel like okay. Oh no! Not oh, Batman. Whoa. Don't if, come at Batman. No, no, Ooh, Batman's I, fine. I was, I was way off. The budget was 160 million. It worldwide grossed a billion 140 million dollars. So I can guess that the budget for do they the budget for the next movie is probably going to be between that and 200 million. I bet you it's not going to even break that. It might just make 200 million, and that for a movie is terrible because you need to make half. More than half of what that is. So that movie would need to make four hundred million to even break something. I think like whatever the production of a movie is, that movie should make at least half of what the production. No, cost no, yeah. Was. So, so if a movie makes one hundred fifty million and it only and it just pulls in under three hundred million dollars, technically it's a bomb. Right. But if it makes like over three hundred million, that's a good thing. Like Chris Christopher Nolan when he made Tenet, it just crossed the three hundred fifty million mark. And the movie, I think, and remember, this is during Corona. So three hundred and fifty million fucking dollars for a movie during Corona is fucking amazing. I think the budget. He probably would have made more money if he did. Did he release it online? No, he's gonna release it on Blu-ray. The Blu-ray and DVD is gonna make a lot of money. That's gonna be Mm -hmm. December. But that movie would have made a billion dollars easily. Mm -hmm. Um, It made the box office was two hundred and five million, but only made three hundred fifty million. So technically, that's technically a bomb. But Christopher Nolan was saying like. I'm actually happy. This this is good. Hmm. And then people are like, what are you talking about? It's a box office bomb. And then um, people are like, well, I mean, you got to take in consideration fucking Corona. Yeah. So mm-hmm. and plus, he doesn't really give a shit about the money. I think as long as he's no, part of no, his work, he, he considers that, it a success. When he said that, like he doesn't care. He was happy with the su- success mm. it made. Yeah. I was like, for that's its why, circumstances. That's why I like this man, and that's why I would, if I was gay, I'd fuck him. But that's a completely uh, different topic for a I, time. Anyways, um, PS5. No, actually, I wanted to talk about the vaccine for oh, COVID. Yes. Oh, yeah. So Did you I'll, look it up? Yeah. I, um, I was reading an article the other day. So it was just talking about the vaccine. And like you guys had brought up, it has a 90% effective rate you know, for COVID. But here's the thing. They, they don't know if it works on people who have like a very serious case of COVID. So they just tested it on people, I believe. From what I read on the article, it was healthy people, people. Healthy people who didn't get it and... Did this article is we- worded weirdly, so it was like people who got like a very mild case of it. Did they treat people with health conditions? I don't think so. No, I think I think it was just healthy people they treated okay. it on. So okay, so it's like as if you're getting a vaccine before something. Right. Or- so we, from what we can see with this, st- with these statistics and this article, it's saying that people who are healthy and who haven't got COVID, it has a ninety percent, over a ninety percent effective rate. So that's definitely getting somewhere. And this was somewhere, a lot. Yeah. This was. 
a lot better called? than they expected. Um, it's by Stat News. It's called COVID-19 vaccine from Pfizer and BioNTech is strongly effective. Early data from large trial indicate. It's got a two-star rating on the app store. And here's the thing, too. They didn't expect it to have that much of an effective mm-hmm. rate because it says right here, for months, researchers have cautioned that a vaccine may only have a 60 or 70% effective rate that's that's what the flu i'm pretty sure i think so yeah i think the flu's like 70 like you can get the fucking flu shot and then you can still get the flu i did i remember i got a freshman year i got a flu shot like four weeks four days later i was bedridden well well, no well that's probably whatever that's probably because exactly when obviously when you get the vaccine is a part i know a bit of it so people like when i got my flu vaccine i I I think i I got got like uh, maybe a headache maybe after a while but like a couple days but then i was like fine so i haven't had the flu in years well, you think knock on wood mean the lie. Well, I, I took my flu shot. So. Mm. so, so they still have to do research for people with, with severe cases, yeah, or people. I think once they do that, then th- the, which they'll probably the start will, when they release it. Yeah, because the, F- the FDA, I do know this. They said that they're gonna, they have to bring it to the FDA by the end of the month, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, by the end of the month. So. All right. So then, hopefully by December, if, January. December, January. They said early next year. And then so. April, they'll have it. They'll have more. Yeah, because they, they said, said only when when it's full. When it, I remember reading, I don't know if it was on Twitter or something like that, but someone said like, I, it, it the person was verified. So I was like, oh, you must be trustworthy. But anyways, he was like saying, or she. Oh, uh, that's not always true. That, that yeah, it was a joke. So anyways, I was about to say. um, the person said like, um, the vaccine has a ninety percent rate. We have to get it FDA approved by the end of the month. Then we'll be rolling out by early next year, to f- and by then time, it will be 15 to 20 million vaccines. Mm-hmm. And then hopefully by spring or summer, April. there'll be more. So, mm. um, the only I hope that, I hope to God, of, knock on wood, of God, if they, bleh, like, I hope the fucking God, like, this works because as much they gotta, they gotta prioritize, 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 sorry. Um, uh, like all the elderly people and stuff, and all the uh, medical workers, because those are the ones like that are fighting it right, especially right now. Like, yeah. Here, living, go ahead. No, are you, are you done? Yeah. Okay, I was just gonna say. Um, uh, I was just reading the article as well, and even when they do get all this figured out, there's still gonna be a bit of a problem because it says if authorized, it's gonna be limited. It says mm-hmm. by the end of the year, they're only gonna have 50, 50 million, million vaccines. But then, but how many cases are there right now? There's like 10 million. Uh, I can check right now. Well, like, worldwide? Worldwide, not worldwide. Um, in the U.S. right now. Yeah, 10 million. But that's they're also including yeah, cases. That it, that's what, yeah, that's, that's, that's what they're also that's what I meant like, to say. Remember, that was the first podcast. So, so oh, my no, thing no. is, we don't. Not everyone who has COVID that's needs a vaccine sad. right now. Mm-hmm. So, my question is, how are they gonna sp- like split it up between? Because like, like, by spring they'll have enough for like half the U.S. population. Yeah, Actually, by that, more, I think that's cutting it because you got you uh, also roughly. The world. Well, they said by no, the end. that's for U.S. They're not f- 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 whatever. The, that's that's estimated for the U.S., not the world. I'm yeah, sure that's estimated for the world. No, f- uh, whatever that uh, company. Yeah, that's only for the U.S. Them. That's a, so well. They did. What's the what, what vaccines are going to the rest of the fucking world? No, yeah. I think that Pfizer and the, Pfizer's I, our company, and then BioNTech. I think is is that the one that's going worldwide? Then no, I think BioNTech's no, the same. They're working with them. Well, yeah. the they're thing, working it, with a German company. It has to be worldwide because it says there's going to be 1.3 billion available in 2021. Yeah, but they're doing U.S. first. Yeah, I know they're going to do U.S. first, but U.S. And here's the thing too: like, just because someone doesn't have COVID doesn't mean they shouldn't get vaccinated. No, but, yeah, I but know they're, they're gonna they're gonna prioritize prioritize. Um, those people first. No, I know. So, but there is, th- but they want they want to have more than enough. Mm-hmm. That's why the thing. Even if they have enough for the people who are currently have COVID or have mm-hmm. gotten COVID, they still want to like have more than enough. Do you just... think? Do you think they're gonna give it to people who already had it? I don't think so. Tech. Um, I think I, there's yeah. been research studies. I don't know if it's true or not, but like when you get it, you're not fully safe from it, but you're safe for a while. I don't know if that's true. Like I, when my mom. Spo- so, so I was about to say spoiler alert. Um, my my mom, my uncle, and my mom's boyfriend got it, and so I was I got tested, make sure I was negative, and I was out of the fucking house. But like they, she said that like technically I can't get it for a while if I do get it again. So I don't know. But like right now, active cases in the USA is only four million. So fifty million doses by, um, what's it? N- in December. By the end of the currently year. Currently affected so, in the entire yeah. world is fifteen million. So that's more than enough doses. Okay. To, uh, but so that 15 million and the 20 million is only for the U.S.? That 50 million is for the U.S. No, it says globally. 
Oh, yeah, globally? I'm, that's what I was saying. I'm pretty sure that's globally. Yeah, it says... It, we're not going to be a fucking, d- d- fucking douchebags and say, oh, it's only for us. Yeah, no, says I'm pretty fu- sure that's for everyone. I, I, think, I think the P is silent. I think it's just Pfizer. Pfizer says up to 50 million doses well, could be available globally. So they're globally. estimating okay. about 50 million. And then globally by 2021, I don't know. They, says, they say available in 2021, so not by. So I think maybe sometime in the middle, maybe the summer. Oh, uh, they're gonna have 1.3 billion. I think I heard April. Rhode Island's only number 42 with the most in USA. That's pretty good. And number That's 50, not bad. number 51 is Ver- 51 Vermont. Oh, they're counting like Puerto, Puerto Rico, Rico yeah. DC. Um, Vermont and going back to people who have already gotten it, I they haven't tested. It. No, wait, no, I I don't think it's as effective. People who have already gotten it, I think when they do like the 90 percent effective rate, I think that again is for people who um didn't haven't had it. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. that's another thing they got to test. So I'm sh- I'm sure they've already started testing for people who have like pretty bad cases I'm, of it I'm and everything. I'm fine with waiting for a vaccine as long as everyone yeah. else can get. Yeah, I think I think they should more. prioritize um the people who have like like severe conditions and oh, stuff like that, I and, I and agree. Then especially if they haven't like tested on those people yet, because like. Or or, or, exam, or examine them because like th- that way they could like potentially save their lives or stuff like right. that. Right, people, and I think they should focus on elderly people too, mm-hmm. even if they don't have it. I don't know. No, if, especially especially that, that's why I'm saying like us, us three, we shouldn't get it like right no. away. I I like if we have the option to like great, but I think we should wait. I agree. Yeah. I do agree. I think yeah. But I I know CVS is rolling out vaccines soon as well. Are they? Yeah, they they made um a government deal or some shit like that that you can get the CVS uh the COVID vaccine as soon as it's out. I knew they were part of the government. That's good though. That's at least mm-hmm. listen. At least we're making progress. So at least we don't have to wait. In retrospect, that much longer. Uh, we'll have a 21, 21 summer hopefully. In the entire world, the fifteen million cases. Um, there's only a hundred. 100,000 in serious or critical. In 15 million worldwide. in the worldwide. 15 million cases, 1% of that isn't serious or critical. And you got to you got to you also got to um um take a note that there's other companies de- uh, developing vaccines as well. Yeah, mm-hmm. fucking it's Russia. just those two Russia are the biggest ones. Russia no, those are two are the ones that done. Right. And and Russia has one too where, Well, we where, don't we don't trust Russia where, yet. No, 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 no. According to quotation <laughs> according to Russia, it's ninety two percent effective. Ninety two point three. They're like, yeah, we gotta we gotta one up uh uh Pfizer real quick. Mm. <laughs> but they but, have their own whatever. If it's if it works, great. If not, whatever. But yeah, but, I'm hoping by like we said, by the end of hopefully after Thanksgiving and Black Friday, by the end by the beginning of December by the time Christmas rolls around, we'll have a fucking answer. I'm hoping. I'm hoping like God we do. Mm. It's because then it'll give at least a little bit of closure for a lot of people. And even if we don't want the answer that we have, they'll tell us like, oh, we still have a little bit of work. This is when we think it's going to happen. At least at least give us something because they all they said is just 90% and uh, FDA has to prove that's it. That, that, and maybe 15 to 20 million like doses would be available. So that we'd need a little bit more information. Obviously, it's a lot harder to do with a vaccine when the thing just came out six, seven months ago. Well, not just came out, but like seven, eight months ago. January. No, it came out December. It will, te- well, technically. In what? China. The, uh, well, the yeah, that's when it started. January, mm-hmm. beginning of January. It, it, it didn't reach you until February. Right. Yeah. Or January. No, no, it, it came here in January. That's right. No, it came no, here it in came February, February because I remember March was when a lot of like Rhode the Island first case again. was in. No, I think California. The plane came from California, and there was a cruise ship too. That was all. I just February. know it was discovered in December 2019. I do remember I that the that. first case in Massachusetts was in February because remember we were in Lincoln, we were filming in like the mountain, the hills and whatever. Remember mm-hmm. we were filming and we were talking about, did you hear guys? The first case was found in Massachusetts. Yeah, we made a joke too. And we made a joke. We were like, oh, ah, this is going to be nothing. This is nothing. This Six is, months later. This will be like the Ebola and then two oh, months later. God. Well, if this was Ebola, I'm sorry. Oh, I, I, I would not be sitting here. I wouldn't either. I'd be 50% locked, death rate. Wait, actually, let's find out. No, Look it's definitely up. higher than that. Could, thank God that like, that didn't spread as crazy. Because then that spread kind of like COVID did too? No, it didn't. How did it spread? Uh, I think there was only like four cases. No, four people a died doctor, in the U.S. A doc- no, a doctor went into the Africa, went to Africa. He came back. He was bubble bubbleized. He was, he Quarantine? found, Quarantine. found it. he was literally sanctioned with a bubble. And then his house was in a bubble. He, he, four people had it. I don't know who died from it Four in the people US. died from, from no, Ebola. I think, no, well, no, four people in the U.S. had it. And then or two either. people, two people survived. I know that for a fact. The death rate, the death, the disease has a high risk of death, killing twenty five percent to ninety percent of those infected, with an average of about fifty. 
That is scary. Oh no, one death. My bad. That is fucking scary. Yeah. Oh, like, two Jesus. actually. And how did it spread again? I forget. Like no, I don't... like COVID does. Like, so I was right. It did spread like COVID. Like oh, no, no, I thought you meant like like how. No, no, he's talking about like how you spread it. I didn't. He it had a different way of spreading. I think. It, no, like, it's it, by it's by um close contact. Was it? it was something yeah. More though, I think. I but I thought you meant like did it spread as fast as COVID? That's right. What I, that's what I thought the, you said. The virus is transmitted to people from wild animals and spreads in the human population through human to human transmission. The average okay. DVD case. Uh, uh, that Loki was scary though. That, I'm, I'm glad they no, like. No, like, we made memes about it. Shut the shut the hell up. We no, at first we were, I was because you know. But 2016 we were fine because literally like that's because the CDC knew that shit would kill. It. Everyone like mm-hmm. that was fucking. Someone was playing Plague Inc. and almost had it, and then got screwed over. No, that was resolved Ebola by like 2015. Mm-hmm. No, by, no, by, no by, by like 2015, the, 2016. Yeah. No, but I remember by 2016, no one was even talking about it anymore. Mm-hmm. That was way. I think it's because I remember freshman year of high school. Like I think the beginning is when it started to get scary, and I, then I think when it was about. I could be wrong, but from what I my I remember, it was like by January or February. Of 2015, I think it started to get like under control, and everyone was like, "Okay, we can breathe now." This is interesting. The incubation period, the Ebola, that is the time interval from infection with the virus to onset of symptoms, is from two to 21 days. A person infected with Ebola cannot spread the disease until they develop symptoms. So, so no matter what, you're going to show symptoms, but you cannot spread it until you show them. Oh, so if you're asymptomatic, you couldn't spread it. There is no such thing so as asymptomatic with Ebola. <laughs> so that's the difference between COVID, because you don't know if like, you have it. Right, Ebola. okay. Why do the COVID death rates seem to be falling? I wonder why. It's getting weaker. No, it's not getting weaker. It's because I hate saying this, but it's killed. I hate saying this, but it's oh, gotten rid of That's true, too. All the it, is, people. it is not getting weaker. It's just... Ratio wise, more people are surviving it because I remember back in March when there weren't as many cases. I think it was all nursing. I think like the like survival and death rate was about eighty-two to eighteen percent. Wait, what? At one point, because okay, I used to look at World Dometer every day, and you know if you go onto World Dometer, it shows how many people have recovered and how many people have died. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. since there was a smaller number at that time, more people had died. Ratio aspect wise, it was like eighty-two percent survival compared to um like 18 percent but now since a lot more people have gotten it it's like 97 to 3 percent now so like 97 people who have gotten it and who have recovered have survived um, world and this and this and this was worldwide too this was i always looked at it worldwide deaths per 100,000 is only well th- because like i said like a lot of people from nursing homes health occasions caught it first that's why mm-hmm. the death rate was so fucking high mm-hmm. um is only it's just 2.3 percent but um, that seems accurate. Yeah, well. But then again, that's we're talking about like if – oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a better, better one. Oh, the U.S. is all the way down or blottom. 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 Um, blottom. Yeah, it's um, 2.3%. Yeah, okay. All right, so that's pretty I, – I can, I can believe that. Oh, I remember the swine mm. flu. Yo, shout out the OG swine flu Kenny back in 09, bro. Swine, my stepmother, Christina, had a swine flu. I mean, really? Yeah, uh, flu rate, death rate. Oh, that's not what I want. Mm. Anyways, keep talking about it. Um, yeah, so, uh, I mean, that was basically all I had to say no. regarding COVID. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm glad mm. that Hopefully, we are making progress. Yeah. And thankfully, even though it is spreading a lot faster than Ebola, thank God that it's not as deadly as mm-hmm. Ebola. Because re- let, let's, wow. let's, yeah, be let's put this in retrospect. Let's say that Ebola did spread as fast as COVID did. And it was still as deadly as it was. Bro, do you know how, bro, do you know how many people would be dead right now? I would not leave my house. Dude, I, it would literally be like I am legend. They would, would literally have to have like bubbles around mm-hmm. people's houses. They would literally have to be like with military in the streets watching, make sure nobody was outside, bro. This could <laughs> effectively abrupt the economy. Does flu vaccination protect against COVID nineteen? <laughs> oh boy, I love. I mean, this. a lot of people did compare it when it first came out. They're like, mm-hmm. oh, it's like the flu. You'll be fine. I mean, it is, but it's like but for it's different not. people, it's not. Mm-hmm. For us, it is. Yeah, for, for different people, it's not. For us. You know, young people who are, have healthy immune systems, it'd be not as bad as the flu anyway, because we'd probably get a mild case of it, mm-hmm. most most likely. But for older folks, mm-hmm. it's a lot more deadly. I remember I got the flu because I didn't take my flu vaccine one year, vaccine vaccine mm-hmm. one year. I think it was twenty nineteen. You're just adding L's to everything. Honestly, huh? I think I think we should. Well, he takes nothing but them. Honestly. But anyways, like I remember, like 2018, 2019, I didn't take my flu shot. I don't remember why. I think I was just way too busy because I was. That was when I was working a lot and doing school. So, like, I didn't 
take a vaccine. I remember getting really sick. I I knew I had it because I my ears were hurting. I was aching, my sore throat. We went to go see the Lego Movie Two with uh, um Dom. Yes, um I was sick. <laughs> Under the dry R system. <laughs> I was sick. I was like, oh, it's just it's just a cold, but I definitely knew I had the flu. So I was like, a little bit. I was like, oh my god. Like I wasn't feeling like I was gonna die, but like I was like, oh my ears are hurting. I'm so achy. I have a sore throat. I'm like, oh my fucking god, this sucks. I, I haven't was... felt that sick in a long time. So if I get the time. flu, that's what it's gonna be like. And yeah. I don't like getting sick. Mm. But I'll get allergies like every now and then I'll wake up with like a you know, fucking like sore throat in my nostril. One nostril is not fucking working. I go, fuck, I'm going to die. And then I wake up, take a shot. I'm like, oh, I do get that sometimes, but yeah, it's not the flu for me. Mm. It's just it, when it gets super cold. Mm-hmm. Or like when it's like 70 degrees one day and fucking 35 the next. Like, oh, well, welcome That's to why so many like, people. Like a, few, like a few days ago. That's why so many people in the New England area get sick a lot of the times because it's very sporadic, our weather. One mm-hmm. day, it's like 65. To the next, it's like It was 40. 70 last week. Exactly. Literally. I, I had the AC on on, the way to the, on mm-hmm. my way to work because, you know, I have leather seats. That gets hot as fuck. I cannot wait to wear shorts on Christmas. <laughs> yeah. With like your little like Hollywood, uh, Hawaii like oh, shirt. Yeah, oh, yeah. We're, we're mixing up different ones. Yeah. Now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Else, you're mixing them up. <sighs> but no, I'm excited. Ex- excited. But I'm happy that there is progress with a vaccine. Um, mm-hmm. I'm ex- Hopefully we'll have a 2021 normal summer. I will be able to celebrate. I'm hoping so, bro. Uh, once and, I, and normal school. And then once I will uh, be 21, we're all going to the casino and doing poker. I'm not gambling. No, you're not gambling. Poker, Hell no. Poker. No, bro. We have a poker night. Look, you with, it, look you... with my luck, bro, I'm going to lose could... my freaking car, my house, my <laughs> PS5. I'm going to lose this land. You know, here, bro, I don't want to lose that. You know what you could do? I love you, this. You could probably, we could play with us. Let's see how You, do, you know that is. table game where you just have to bet on a color? Huh? I'm you, sorry, what? The table game where you just have to bet on a color, either oh, red or black? Oh, is it the red and black? Yeah. Yeah, yeah and that's, like they that's, spin... Yeah, that's not that. You don't... Like, it's a 50-50 chance. Well, not 50-50. Well, well, here's the thing. Like, okay. I know that, like... Mentally, I'm pretty strong-willed, so I probably wouldn't get addicted to gambling because mm. people get addicted like here's, here's, when, when they let themselves get addicted. Here's, here's, here's okay. how they get addicted: when they say one more game, one, one more game. game. I always me, know me. when to stop, so I probably could gamble, but just to be safe, I just don't feel like it here's, because like I just always try to save as much money as possible. Here's what you gotta do: you just gotta take like whatever amount. Let's say hundred dollars. Okay, mm-hmm. you, you don't have to do hundred dollars. I usually, whenever I went, I usually just take twenty, and if I lose the twenty, that's it. Mm-hmm. But um. Not me. Yeah, not Dion, not Kenny. Um, At least Kenny fucking won like 80 bucks. Yeah. Uh, I've never won at a casino, so that's why I stopped. Mm-hmm. Um, I just want to go do play cards because I, I decide there I have a say in what happens. Yeah, right. see, that's why yeah. I like playing poker. Like, you can fold. You're uh-huh. able to, like, back so, out. So here's, like, like, the way I don't get addicted is, like, oh, I lose 20 bucks. That's it. So here's here's my point. Just take $100, go, go bet, and then just win or lose. Whatever you do, if you lose a hundred, you lose a hundred. If you win a hundred, you win a hundred. But so mm. you don't look at it as a big deal. I don't look at it because, like, I it's like it's not like I'm like putting in my life savings. Right. Just, it's just like it's just it's like think of it as David Buster's. Like mm-hmm. you go, you put in money, you go have fun. Right. So that's how I see it as. That's fair. See, you're on like the opposite spectrum mm. of a lot of people because you look at it as oh, it's not a big deal that I lost money. Mm-hmm. I can walk away. Some people look at it as it's not a big deal. Let me spend more. Mm-hmm. So you're on like the opposite spectrum. It says people who are like one more game, one more game because they also don't look at it as a big deal too. That's what's just I most likely wouldn't, mm-hmm. but that's what I don't want to fall under. That's is why that kind of mentality? I hate machines. That's why I love playing card games because I can be like, oh, I don't have a good hand. I'm gonna fold because I'm gonna lose. Those like, machines are definitely rigged. Like, like well, they're yes. they're technically examined. Yeah, by like a third party. But. Still. But nah, I want to play poker and then just be like, I have no chips. And then I'm going to be like all in. And then they go, you have no chips. I was going to know I have a kidney. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you're supposed to leave the table, I believe, when you don't have any more chips. You can't but watch. Nah, we should we should have like a poker night. Like um, like well, all of us, like obviously no money involved. But like just like practice, seeing how everyone plays. We should, that would be fun. I'll be honest. I have no idea how to play poker. Oh, it's so fun. Right. I have two, no uh, Texas idea. Hold'em is really, I love playing Texas Hold'em. The two, I, card, you two cards. Oh, fucking love I feel that. like I could do some, some good in, in poker. We could definitely yeah. do that one day. What, what was the name of that one game we used to play where, like, we had a count and someone would say, was it bullshit? Bullshit. I, oh, love, I that love that game, bro. Game, bro, if they had that, that at the casinos, bro, game. I would win, bro. That was the, that's that's, that's com- luck, though. Yeah, that is luck. That is true, but, like, you don't, you wanna, there's no skill in at bullshit. Least, at yeah. least poker, if you get a bad hand, you're like, ah, fuck, I can bluff or I can fold. Mm-hmm. Right, so, that's true. But still. Poker's but, a whole-ass mind game if you don't have any cards. It is. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty, I'm, I will say I'm very good at bluffing. <laughs> I will say, oh no! <laughs> Speaking of games, let's talk about the PS5. Oh, I yeah, want to talk about the thing that I don't fucking yeah, have. Yeah, the thing that <laughs> Miguel. Hit me uh, up. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm putting my. If everyone not watching the video, I am literally taking my dick out, and they're gonna suck it because I fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, see. Okay, well, 
I just got mine today, and I just we we do have on. to admit we did get lucky. We did Indeed. get lucky. Yes, literally. Fuck you. So back in September, um, no, it was earlier. It was uh, August. Uh, no, when you could pre-order. October. When you could pre-order. October. No, no October. I ordered mine September sixteenth. Oh, you know, yeah, you're right. You're right. That September. was before. I remember because it, it was like uh. That was before Conjuring. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was. That was before the Conjuring. It um, definitely was. Literally, I got lucky. So, although. Um, our friend Kenny, even mm. though he was the one who didn't tell us until an, until an hour, hour later, before GameStop that he was about knew to someone close. From GameStop. I do have to shout him out too because even though he did do that, he was the person that got a link from Twitter that said he put it in the group chat. He said, "Guys, hurry quickly! There's some on Amazon." And me, and some like two of my our other friends were able to just get them, and I know that for a fact because was, as soon as I bought it, when I refreshed Amazon, it said, "Sorry, this." Item is unavailable. Yeah, I was, so the, I was just able to get it, bro. And there it is in the other room. I'm I was I was baby. the fourth person that when I went to go click it to add my cart, it said there's nothing in your cart. And oh, yeah. damn, <laughs> dude. I I but remember, but remember, this was not on launch day. This no. was technically this mm. is why even Sony yeah. were like yeah, this was a fucking. Because here's show. what happened: PlayStation was like, oh yeah, pre-orders are tomorrow, and then like out of nowhere, like pre-orders started out of like because GameStop was greedy little motherfuckers. Yeah, GameStop was like, yeah, we need money, so we're starting pre-orders now. Yeah, mm. fucking so, that was scummy. Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, you go. Okay. I'll, I'll speak after you. I was just gonna say like, um, no, I remember. I forgot what I was gonna say. You go. Okay. <laughs> so so. I I I bit the bullet and I got a bundle. You know, I saved I saved a little bit oh, of money. Tell the story about that, you little fucking yes. leprechaun. So I I bought the bundle. I it came with like an uh, two games and a control whatever. Um, it, it was a lot of money, but uh, they didn't charge me for the f uh, the entire amount, which I'm uh, I don't know why. Actually, I shouldn't see. I should GameStop. Uh, I paid don't the watch full this. amount. I put I paid the full amount. Don't worry. But um. Uh, legally, <laughs> for legal reasons. Yeah, legally, yeah. But, Two um, months, he'll see 200 minus out of his account. Like, oh, what's this for? Oh, so oh. I, I kind of got lucky in a sense, but that's the fucked up though part. Because like, like, how are you gonna say? I don't, I don't blame PlayStation at all for this. It was the retailers. Yeah, I blame the retailers because they were like, especially GameStop, because mm. GameStop was the one like, oh, we're going out of business. We might as well start now or right. some shit like that. And and it's just actually um. So there's a YouTuber I watch. His name is Review Tech USA. He covers this stuff like regarding stuff. And he, when that first happened, he said, "I actually don't blame the retailers for doing this because here's why. Again, I forget the name of these people, but there are people who will buy, and they'll use mm. bots to buy like yeah, multiple that shit PlayStation. Me off. And those people were getting ready. And you know, when they know that a console is coming out on a certain date, they'll get ready for that date. And he said that the retailers, the reason why they did that a day before is because they wanted to mess up those people with the bots. So people, oh. so so the the customers who were able to get a console, they didn't have to worry about those guys buying. Okay. So the reason why a lot of people didn't get it was just because everyone was scrambling to get one still. So that's if that is true, I, he, he, he does believe that was the reason why they did that because a lot of those people who will bot, they'll buy like... 20 something consoles and then, and then sell resell them, on, like, them for like a ridiculous they're selling price. they're selling for 2000 right now on ebay that's Dude. smart it, it, yeah it, it's stupid, it, it's it's, smart. it's shitty but smart it's scummy but smart that's it's what business. that's what people with um um sneakers do mm -hmm. and like like hype beast brand they get bots for like shoes and just buy them and resell them later Let's right see, why yeah. didn't like the retailer store just say oh we're releasing them early for no reason why they did, did. They didn't, no they didn't say it they just Put it on the website. No, they that did say it. that. They did say that. The second they released them, they're like, oh yeah, we're releasing them early. When? Right now. Go get them. Go, oh, go, I, go, oh, go. People just, I thought people just went on websites and they were there. I only found out because of Kenny was like, oh yeah, I'm pre-ordering it right now. I'm like, how are you pre-ordering it? it doesn't, no, and then, we, we learned about that before. No, because Kenny told me he pre-ordered it and that's how I found out. Yeah. yeah. He found, he told you before? Everyone in the group chat? No, no, no. Oh. No, like he... um. I, I saw the tweet. Oh, PS5 pre-orders tomorrow. I'm like, okay, I'm staying up all, uh, till midnight or whatever. That's what I was and then and then fucking an hour later, Kenny posts in the group chat. Oh, I pre-ordered yeah. on GameStop, but, but they close in an hour. I'm like, no, he put. I remember he posted on his story. Mm. Or, or yeah, whatever. So but, but anyways, so anyways. so then I started scrambling to find one on GameStop, and I just happened to find a bundle. Yeah. And then she didn't get the full amount. Hmm. Fucking what? <laughs> we keep it that secret. Um, but no, I try to get mine, but you know. Mm. So Walmart's that's like, probably Walmart, that's Amazon's probably said no. <laughs> that's probably why you don't have like you couldn't get one like recently because like the bots yeah 
the bots right now are doing like are going See, to that's town. why i'm gonna like black friday because they're gonna everything's they're gonna have online ones and they're gonna have in-store ones so no. i can have in store there's gonna be those people they're gonna bring actual robots to just start taking them off the shelves and I'm just find them wally like wally uh, like, gian's, gonna, gian's gonna go to like GameStop or whatever and he's gonna be like uh he's gonna get a ps5 like in hand there's gonna be like little like little jimmy like yo it's my birthday can i have that he's gonna be like no no, you know, just kicks him off the yeah, show. The fucking um, <laughs> fucking Madison Beer is gonna walk up to me. She goes, "Hi, can I get the PS5 from you?" I go, "Ah." Oh. You better <laughs> remember, if you come across a scenario, choose correctly. Is it the woman or is it playing with the boys? Madison Beer is such a beauty, though. But the boys. Listen. The next generation with the boys. <sighs> Us. Okay, you can be the a boys. Sim. You can be a sim. No, 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 shut up. No, you know no, it's the boys. Sim. You it's his calling. No, no, it's no, no, his no. calling. Miguel, you want to talk about simping? Yeah, you, you don't want to talk about simping. I don't, I don't know. What? What's he talking about? Okay, so um, I don't know. Uh, K- Caitlin likes to think that you know it's y- it's your it's our PlayStation now. I told her that. <laughs> Wait, you told Caitlin it's. It, oh, I, 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 I I told Caitlin it's our PS5. No, but, no, but then you, you know just, she just, said? just 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 so that goes, she wouldn't oh. be so mad. But then she goes because she posted on her story. Oh, it's ours now. Oh, now you can give me more attention. No, she's. That's <laughs> not what she said. What'd she say? She I said. Have, I have the screenshot. Oh, so now we can sell it. Oh yeah. That's See what right. you did? Yeah, that's right. See what you did? Now it's communism. Now there's a we. She's, just, she's not going to play on it. <laughs> Anyways, I don't think believe simping is... You can simp over someone that you've never met, but simping over someone that you love and you care for, then that's not something that's just, you know... So you, I guess you don't simp. But I care and love for the PlayStation. You should too. So does that oh, mean you're simping? Oh, he's so simping. does that mean you guys simping simped? Simping for the PS5. I, but is that, am I wrong though for... but me. But am I wrong for simping for the PS5? No. I will say the he's design could have been a little better though. He's not wrong. That That is a beauty right that there. That is a beauty. So a a big beauty. Hard? Did you get hard when it came out? Or... Yep, he did. Mm-hmm. I Next mean, he question. already lost. No, I am going. What day is it? Four two weeks. Are you seriously still going? Yeah. Be honest, right hand to God. You're, you have not done that. I have not touched my penis. Oh, my God. Not even to pee? No, well, obviously not even to wash? Pe- Gross. You're nasty, bro. <laughs> How the fuck? With my hand, I wash my penis? <laughs> he just he just squirts the soap and just jiggles it around. Come on, get in the urethra. <laughs> Okay, and that is that is all the time we have. No. <laughs> oh, my God. We are not ending the fucking podcast on that. There's a lot of things that we've missed out on. Miguel mm-hmm. missed out on a big thing. A lot of people missed out on, but I w- did not miss out on because I was very fortunate to be there from the beginning, and then I brought Nikki yeah. along. And Ooh, thank nis God. Unis, 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 Yo. Unis. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, okay. So, um, Miguel, you missed out. Um, it was I great. had no idea what you were talking about. So, you obviously you know who Markiplier chanting. is. You don't know. His I know the either. Unis Honest channel. Yes, I know. Do you know who Ethan is? I don't know who Crank Ethan is. All right, so I don't know who Basically, that is. if you I've don't know who it. it is, yesterday, by, well, when we recorded this, yesterday the channel was deleted. I watched the entire 12-hour live stream. When I went to go pee, it was still on my TV, but I brought my phone with me. Um, but no, I subscribed to that channel because I adore Markiplier, and I've been watching him from t- since 2012. And then, you know, I was like, oh, he's making a channel, but then it's going to be deleted in the year. And I go, oh, it's fine. And then literally when they released their, like, last of, like, they said it was their last official video. But it was, like, the truth of Unis Honest. And it's very, psych- kind of psychological. It's very heartfelt. It's literally saying like, oh, this channel is going to die a lot. You have to let go of a lot of things no matter how hard it is. And so that's the meaning of the channel. And they deleted it. They they spoke to their word. They fucking deleted it on live stream. Zero. The fucking thing went black. And <laughs> That was honestly like, I was like, I, I don't think was, it... I'm happy. I'm not sad that no, it's I'm, over, but like I'm happy that I experienced it. Yeah, don't be don't be sad because it's gone, or don't cry because it's yeah, gone. Yeah. Smile because it happened. And honestly, okay, like I joined the Unis Honest bandwagon late. You're actually the one who showed me it. I mm-hmm. had heard about the channel. I never watched it. Had I known what the purpose of the channel was a while ago, I definitely would have started watching it because you showed me a few videos before, like explaining to me yeah. what it was about. I was like, oh, this is funny. What what's the purpose of this? And you explained to me like, well, they're going to be deleting the channel when it's been up for one year because the purpose of it is, you know, Unis Honest means one year. It's supposed to represent how, like, if you have a year left, make the most of it. And um, when something's gone, letting go of things, you know, when something's gone forever, you can have memories of it. But once it's gone, it's gone. So I was like, all right, I'm hooked. So my question is, it it wasn't like a like a haunted or not thing. No, no, no. no. I mean they joked around. They had skits. There was some sort of so, war. They so said, but it that's was, the only episode that you showed me that was like like like. Oh, no, that uh, we showed you. I think no, yeah, that was the only sh- episode I showed you. I think. 
No, well, yeah, we, I think the only episode we did show because when he was over our house, uh, my house the was like the, the the they were exploring the mansion. So the I, I thought there was a ghost hunting. Me adult. too, because like Una's honest and like the hourglass with the skulls. Mm-hmm. I thought it was gonna be like a mysterious haunted thing, but no, they did like a bunch of things. Um, they would record like some videos, like. Like, like multiple videos in one day, but they would release them every day. They did everything from like they reco- cooking with sex toys. Um, they went to an escape room. They did do a lot of pepper things because literally the only two videos you showed me were about ghost hunting. Yeah, but that, that was because in the it was still ho- near Halloween, I think. Or something yeah, like that but they've done everything about. like getting pepper spray. Um, they drank their own pee through a filter. Through, through a filter. Through a pee filter. Sauna, pee soda, bro. It was fucking hysterical. They really liked pee. Um, but and, no, like um, that that channel, like I think this year. If that thing, if that channel, if they didn't do that, I I don't know where I would be because literally they even said like, do you think 2020 was the the year to do it in the live stream? And they were like, yeah, I think so because of what's been happening. And so, if I think it's helped me out a lot mentally. Mm. Um, and so like I think I'm I, because I mean it's about like you know letting go stuff you know like learning like oh every make every second count. And I literally took that by word and I am, I think I'm grateful that that's happened. So Mark and Ethan, if you ever watch the podcast or listen to the podcast um just Send know them that, the hi, just know that i love you guys and i've been watching them since uh, tw- uh markiplier since 2012 and ethan since 2016 2017 and come on was, our podcast and i was and i would imagine and i would every day at three o'clock would be waiting for a video every mm. single fucking day mm. so yeah come on come on our podcast. come on our podcast so if you guys listen to this uh thank you yeah just fly over and to I rhode island memories. uh march will be coming in soon for me too because you know gotta get the memories hell yeah yeah. R- R- Riley Reed, if you want to be on a podcast, too, yo, would... Riley Reed. I mean, she did we're not, snap no, you. We're, we're not gonna get into that. Maybe another episode. No, you can say it now. No, no, no. We'll, we'll tell that story another time. Oh, that, that's the like suspense. We, yeah. we, we, stay, we, tuned. stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. We stay need tuned to how Nikki lost his virginity to Riley. Oh wait, I lost my Snapchat virginity. Well, technically you did because no, you're yeah. the one who. Messed we'll, 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 we'll get into that story. Anyways, anyways, listen. Someone showed a penis. It might have been Riley Reed. We'll find out after. He's lying. Uh, Miguel did show his shrimp cock. No, um, no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um. Gion's just jealous. I'm jealous because I, I don't have a shrimp penis. No, about the Riley <laughs> Reed thing. Oh no! Trust me, don't worry. I'm not jealous about that. Mm. Mm-hmm. Because I mean, uh, to be honest, she's spoken like a robot. But anyways, that's not the point of this podcast. Oh, there goes our chance of getting her on the podcast. <laughs> anyways, um, I think that's the end of this episode. Of, Anything um, else? Who is honest? I mean, um. <laughs> Anything else we want to talk about? Or? Nope, that's it for me. All right. All right. Yeah, um, that's it for. I mean, do you, anyone want to have any closing thoughts? Um, uh, Twitch.tv slash Vice City King Pitch. <laughs> that oh was the funny. Bro, I, I don't think we've ever laughed so hard like oh, at dude. once, ever, bro. That was so unbelievably funny. Bro, like if like my celebrity crush or like my celebrity role model, like Mark Blair, if you ever came on my uh, on the podcast and he goes, oh, G- um, shout us out, and he goes, oh, Gian, yeah, your your, your Instagram, yeah, um. Fake Gian Geo- Re- Geruso. Real Gian Geruso. I would laugh my fucking Bro, ass off. I wanted to do it in like his movie voice where he's like, Hey guys, Markiplier, please shout out Real Gian Geruso. <laughs> please on Instagram. And That's follow Mr. Afraid, Broke Productions. Like, to, to, tweet some, to tweet a lot because if they saw my meme or something like that, they would pronounce my fucking name wrong. Maybe Ethan would get my name, but like I don't know if... Because California is not fucking Italian. Ethan's a Chad. He's, he's a Chad. Markiplier's a Chad. He's a Chad. Amy's a Chad. Amy, yes. I honestly thought he was going to propose to her. Dude, I thought he was gonna propose to her. Bro, I was, I was really cry. I thought I was gonna cry for, for because it was gonna end. I was gonna cry if they were gonna fucking propose. I almost teared up when oh. Markiplier got in the coffin and Ethan was like in tears, explaining to him how like how much they he meant to him. Hugged. I was like, bro, I was oh like, God. that is the definition of love, friendship. Like, imagine doing respect, like, doing videos for a whole year every single day, like and having. They even said they had three hundred different ideas. Yeah, and. They didn't even do all of them. They, they were didn't gonna even have do a meeting with um Susan Washka, whatever the, her name Wojcicki, is. YouTube. I think. YouTube. They're gonna have like a YouTube prom, uh, YouTubers prom, YouTuber graduation, and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Obviously, they didn't couldn't because of COVID and stuff like that. But like, they made the most of it. They really did. And I mean, if COVID never happened, they definitely would have done like a lot more of the oh, ideas yeah, that they yeah. had because. A lot of the videos, they just had to like sit in front of a screen and do something like they did. GeoGuessr, Mad Libs. <laughs> that was. F- I will say one thing quickly. Um, that is kind of funny, and I did not know this. They said in the live stream that they wanted it to end on November, um, Friday the thirteenth. That's right. It. They wanted it well, to end on Friday the thirteenth. Technically for them, not for us. 
It ended for us on Saturday the 14th because we were, by the time they closed. Okay, but... But for yeah, them, yes, yeah, Friday the 13th. But yeah, which but the, was, I thought it was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. I guess that's a anyways, mysterious, um, haunting way to end anyways, it. Anyways, no one knows what we're talking about because if you look up Una's Honest, it does not fucking exist anymore. Exactly. Memento what, what's Mori. You, wait, but link them in the description. Oh, yeah, guys. Let's we'll check them out tomorrow. Yo, yo, yo. Let, we'll watch some videos later. Yeah. All right. Um, I think that's it for, for us and for me. I mean... Uh, yeah, I guess, you know... I'll, I'll leave all our... Um, Links and stuff into the description. Oh, oh wait, never mind. What? Also, no, go ahead. No, I was gonna say we're streaming tonight, but this is. They're <laughs> 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 gonna be like Tuesday, when Monday, Wednesday. Like, what the fuck are they talking about? Just know that by the time this comes out, Miguel streamed on that Saturday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, also, Nikki, you don't need to put in the in the recorded on. You don't need to do that when you when you upload. No, it. I just leave it. I, no? I yeah. Wait, re- wait, leave what? Like he's saying, like recorded on whatever date, like recorded on Saturday. No, or... just. It gives, like, in case, like, we're talking about something that's not relevant uh, to the day it uploads. I guess yeah. so. And if they look in the description, it says, oh, this was recorded on, like, the 7th, like, a few days before this okay. was uploaded. I just want to do that just in case to give a little context because okay. at the time of recording, these topics are relevant. Mm-hmm. But Good it's – this is – podcasts are going to be uploaded, like, a few days after we record this. Like, what, three yeah. days after? Yeah, so I'm going to get this up by Tuesday. All right. That's I think that's all me. she wrote. Um, that's all she wrote, and that's all she mailed because she never got back to me. That sucks. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. You know what else sucks? This was Unes Honest. Ooh. <laughs> no, no, the way the end of the day was Unes Honest. Do you know what's funny? Lie, fun, Markiplier's easy. Markiplier's last mo- words before the clock, and he goes, see you on the other side. Yeah. That was, that I was, was like. That was pretty cool. Anyways, um, that's it for this week. Um, Check us out on the descriptions. Follow us. Um, Jerk off to us. Actually, don't jerk off to us because it's noon November. So um, anyways, um, the end of please, please. Bye-bye. Have a good one, Miguel. Yahoo!